What is up, people? What is up, people? We are in Jefferson Square. This is a Dream Finders Home development, and we're going to take a look at this the Carson model right over here. So, Dream Finders Home is a spec builder, so they build them and then they sell them, right? So, there's really not much variety in some of these uh, models that they've created for us. So, we're going to take a look at this model here. This one, just to let you know, it does have a rooftop terrace which is uncommon for this community, right? So as soon as we walk in, we have a gorgeous, welcoming living space here. I could definitely see this being like an office right here, or a large office. Look how, look how large this is, right? Love the windows uh, in this space here. And... When we continue through, we have ourselves a nice little storage room right there. We have our coat closet here. And we have a full bath on this level here, right? So full bath, and then we have the garage. The garage is set up as a sales office here, but two car garage. Nothing, nothing major here. Yes, we can see in there just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so before we go upstairs, just wanna let you know, this is Where to Live in Northern Virginia, our YouTube channel. We focus on three types of content here. New construction property tours, like the one you're watching right now. Relocation videos that talk about what an area is like before you get here. Those are more research-based. And we do things to do so you can have fun little trips you could take, right? Or fun things to do around the area to make living in the Northern Virginia area or region memorable and exciting because we love living here. We want other people to love living here as well. If that sounds like content you're interested in, subscribe to the channel and also like this video. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps us get this video out to other viewers like yourself. If you're ready to start the home buying process or real estate journey, really, if you're thinking about buying a home, selling a home, investing in real estate, or building a dream home, there's a link in the description to the Perfect Home Questionnaire. Complete that form and we'll schedule a time to meet via Zoom to answer any and all of your questions. Whew. Now that we got that, that out the way, let's go upstairs to my favorite kitchen design. Dream Finders does a wonderful job with the kitchens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, 17 steps up. And now we are on the main living area. First of all, before we start admiring everything, look at the railings. Love that railing design there. Gives you some light in your hallway there, so it's not like a little dark and dungeony, dungeonous hallway. And it gives you like a little flare, a little design here. Love how they are showing us what we could do with this little space right here. You have uh, one of the largest powder rooms I've seen in really any size bathroom. This is this is rather large, but this is what you get when you have such a wide townhouse. We have ourselves the kitchen off to the front of the property here. Love the design details they're going for. We've seen these bells before. Let me see if you're if you're one of our subscribers, one of our loyal subscribers. Let's see if you remember where. We saw those bells, which house we saw those bells in. Tastefully done kitchen here. Love that they put the vent hood in. High-end appliances here. And we have a little space around the refrigerator so we can get just a little bit larger refrigerator in. Otherwise, tastefully done kitchen. Love the amount of square footage you have in this island here for these chairs or chairs like it or you can get the bigger chairs that are uh, have a little bit more cushion in them for the tush for your tush all right all right let's look at uh, our sink view so once we're washing dishes right so to the left here we have our guests being entertained watching some tv laughing over a cocktail and then we have to our right we have a meal being prepared or eaten right we have our refrigerator right there behind us to the right we have a six burner 
cooktop, which is amazing. I love that they, I love this feature. They've done this, they did this in their uh, single family home across the street too, where it's a six burner. Six burners just open up so many more opportunities for you when it comes to cooking great meals, right? ourselves our microwave oven there and dishwasher so plenty of space plenty of space between our dishwasher and our another wall there of cabinets and we have our kind of entertainment space right so we have a breakfast nook here or another sitting area and then we have where you put your formal living room space here i love how open this is and how because we have this little wall right here it gives us some definition sometimes you have those blank open canvases and it's kind of hard to delineate or distinguish between the two the two spaces or multiple spaces right so this wall gives us a, a, a place for some artwork and a place to say, okay, great, this is your living room, All right? And kudos to DreamFinders for putting such a large sliding door system in. Kind of brings the interior into the outside or the outside into the interior. So this is your, your deck here. Maybe you put yourself a little smoker on here. They've already done you a favor by putting the little water spigot right there. So we're from New Orleans. So if you wanted to put yourself do a little gumbo, crawfish bowl or something like that, seafood bowl, you got your water there. I already see a couple smokers, a couple gas grills over here, a couple charcoal grills. So this would be a great space for that. All right. Now that we've seen everything on this living area, let's go check, take a look at the bedroom level. And then lastly, we have the, the rooftop terrace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, all right? All right, to the front of the property here and the front, what I, what I mean by front, I mean by the front door, right? Even though you're gonna be using, because it's a rear loading garage, you're gonna really use the rear of the property to come into the property, but the front here, the front door, we have guest bedrooms, linen closet there, guest bathroom, laundry room, and then your owner's suite. So let's go take a look at the guest bedrooms first, and then we'll take a look at the owner suite second. Don't looking at these videos make you wanna design your space? Man, this space looks great. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, so I like the size of this room. This room is just a nice size because you have what appears to be like a full-size bed. Then you have two nice nightstands. The nightstands aren't like almost touching the bed because they're trying to make the space feel larger than it really is. And you still have enough space to swing the door open over there and get into your closet. So great job with the room design here. I can see in the hallway area, the landing area, like where they got that space from. I think that the, I think the design choice was a good one. All right, and so now we're in guest bedroom number two. It's not often that we see a bed as soon as we walk into a room. Um, so this is gonna be the smaller of the guest bedrooms here. Again, this is off to the front of the property. I love these little rabbits. These are cute, too cute. All right, so we have a double door closet system here, similar are same as in the guest bedroom number one. And then we have ourselves, I guess, bathroom here. Guest bathroom has the only tub on this level here. And then you have one vanity. 
Next up is the washer and dryer. So washer and dryer right here between the guest bedrooms and the owner suite. Owner suite is the back side of the property. And as you can see, you got a king size bed, two vanities, and then look at all that space over there by the window. So you can fit yourself a sofa right here or a Peloton or one of those fancy ruin machines or one of those treadmill machines. There's tons of space and you have yourself a great TV wall right here. So dresser right there at the bottom, TV on top, bada bing, bada boom. We got ourselves a walk in the closet, which is big enough to promote some unhealthy shopping habits. And so let's, before we go into that guest bathroom, I mean that, that owner's bathroom, let's just take ourselves a little quick view of this space here. All right, so last up is the guest bathroom. Guest bathroom has a huge walk-in cloth, I mean walk-in shower. Shower does have a shower seat in it as well. So over there, and then we have ourselves a double vanity. Plenty of storage space as far as drawers and cabinets underneath. By the door that you enter into the bathroom, we have ourselves a linen closet. Lastly, we have our toilet closet on the same wall as the vanity. All right, so now that we've finished this bedroom level, let's go and take a look at the, let's go take a look at the, what are we gonna take a look at? The fourth level, right? Let's go take a look at the terrace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yep. All right. Okay, so now we're in the rooftop terrace. This space, this space I would say is more like a flex space because you do have a wet bar up here, so you could make it like a little chill space or an office, I think it'd be a really nice office. You do have this closet over here though, right? So additional storage space is great. So we have this closet space, but then you also have this, this space, I would say this is another closet space, right? Or even like a little, I mean, if you've ever been to like a WeWork, this is the size of an office for some of those spaces. So how you, how you design the space is up to you. We have one of my favorite features, which is this rooftop terrace here. There we go. Thank you so much for joining me for another property tour. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it with somebody else too. Maybe you know somebody else that's looking to, looking for new construction in Northern Virginia. We are your person. And keep in mind, the builder pays a commission to the real estate agent, so our compensation is taken care of. All right? So that's it for me. Again, thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. Peace.